Hello everybody and welcome to my 36 VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to carry on going through worksheet events and it's going to show you how to use the uh, on double click event so that's again just in a uh, and I've got two worksheets here I've got one called end and one called home the home one if you look in the properties uh, under visible then you notice it's hidden and we go in here you can't actually see it so what this code is going to do is it's just going to unhide uh, that that um, that sheet and then it's going to activate that sheet so that we're looking at it um, when we double click on this button here so we don't want it to when we double click in this cell to, to just go into the, the actual cell itself we want it to, to follow that link through and go to the other one um, could just use a hyperlink but th this is a, just quite a good example for you so uh, and also it, you can use it to kind of unhide and unprotect sheets and things like that at the same time so let's go into our worksheet and then this time we're going to select before double click you also notice there's a before right click there as well uh, and then let's get rid of our selection change uh, you don't have a before single click because that would just be the selection change that we just had to so, say uh, you'll notice that this one actually has two different parameters being passed in it's still got the target so it takes in the the range that would that we've double clicked on uh, but then it's also passing in another one called cancel uh, as boolean or true or false and then what we do with this cancel one is we, if at the, when it, at the end of the function the code checks whether or not cancel is set to true or false if it's set to true then it's going to cancel the double click or if it's set to false as it's going to be set to on default it's going to carry on with the double click and then Excel is going to do the rest of its double clicking kind of actions so the first thing we want to do is we want to cancel that so let's put cancel equals true because uh, so that's going to cancel the actual double click so the double clip's never going to kind of take place uh, all that's going to happen is the, the code that we run and then what we want to do is we want to go to uh, this workbook dot sheets home dot visible and then we're going to access this visible property down here and we're going to set it to one of these three so we want to set it to visible so that's minus one um, so minus one and then we want to activate the sheet so it actually looks at it so this word but dot sheets home and then dot activate and then that's just going to make it so that this is the, the sheet that we look at um, so let's just make sure we're putting it in the right one we want it in the end one not in the um, the home one so just bear that in mind so just make sure you're in that end one because uh, if it's in the home one it's only going to run when we're in home and one last thing we want to do so this at the moment let's say we double click on home it's going to take us into the home sheet uh, and then if we want to we can just hide that sheet again um, but it's also going to take us into the home sheet no matter where we press and we don't want it to do that so we're just going to take advantage of that variable that it passes again the target and let's just put if target dot row equals and then we want row 2 and target dot column equals and column 2 then and then put end if at the end so we're just testing whether or not we're double clicking in the right cell and if it is then we're going to cancel the double click and we're going to go into the home page instead so now when we double click elsewhere then it's going to say it doesn't actually like it um, and that's because we spelled column wrong press play and then it's going to let us double click on all the others but then when we double click on home it's going to take us home instead uh, and just keep clicking us through uh, so that's how you use the the double click event 
Uh, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, worksheet change event. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.